The water temp is 87. piles are going to produce anything, that's what I think. I think they're going to be in the shade. I think we're going to shoot over to the left side here. I haven't got a bite yet. I think I'm getting pegged by bluegill. Did you see my rods go? I think I'm getting pegged by bluegill, dog. That's got a bit. Same. You got bit? Gave me that little dinky bass shake. This is huge. That's a big one. Good gosh. Easy. Don't shake the boat, dog. Woo! Good stuff, dog. Give me the scale, please. It's right there behind you. Steve. I want to do it. Six? I don't know. Come on, scale. He seems way bigger than that. Five, nine, six. I'm going to weigh him again, though, just to be safe. Look at how fat All right, he is. stop, stop. Six, oh five. Dude, look at that belly. Uh, you know how empty she is? Yeah, buddy. What are you doing? Just sitting it there. <laughs> All right, guys. So Picnic just did a amazing net job on that six point oh five bass. Uh, I'm pretty jacked that I just caught that. Actually, I caught it on the Venom Lures Better Beaver on my football shaky head. We're running to go get water right now, then we're going right back to that spot. Uh, I was actually messaging one of my subscribers back, old William Tomlin, 
Yo, you get a shout out in the video because I was just messaging you back for uh, the comment you left on two of my videos. I appreciate your support on the channel. And uh, if you're new here, hit that like and subscribe button. Big shout out to Venom Lures again. Get Venom and get bit. If you see anything you like in this video today, whether it's a hat, a shirt, or this juicy better beaver right here, uh, use code Bubbaville for 10% off. I was throwing it on a uh, Fitzgerald 7'6", all-purpose, heavy, with uh, vicious 100% Pro Elite fluorocarbon, 15-pound test, where they lose LFS speed spool, 6'5 to 1. And, uh, dude, I got bent. All I did was throw it out there, and I just let it kind of sit there. Picnic did an awesome job netting it, like I was saying. She gave me a ride, and uh, I'm just glad I got it. I just want to thank God for that beautiful fish. Let me land it capped off an amazing day but we're not done yet so stay tuned guys right here the water temperature is 84 59 and back there where we were fishing so where we start off at the brush piles was almost 88 degree water so that's what we were looking for was that right there and we're also fishing the shade pocket and I'm kind of just dead sticking it keeping my line tight just like this and when I caught that one uh, a few minutes ago, I felt them, t you know, tick it, and that was the ticket. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Thank you, sir. Probably three, two seventy five. Three fourteen. Three fourteen, guys. Sweet. Nah, he's like two pounds. Can you both flip him? Yeah. Where's the scale, dog? One oh one. Little dinky boy. All right, guys. So we're currently fishing in nine feet of water right now. Actually, nine and a half. The water temp is eighty four point thirty one, and uh, the water temperature is exactly six degrees cooler than up front so that's why we're catching fish here and there's a bunch of different bait and uh those are all our line marks going through the bait um that actually could be crappie i'm not sure but uh i don't know crappie rod to actually tell but so over here i've been fishing the dam it goes from three feet to nine feet and i've been casting to the wall of the dam and i'm dragging off or as soon as it hits the water the bass been picking it up I'm not totally sure. Um, I must be landing right on top of their head. Uh, I'm probably not getting them to bite it on the bottom. I think it's whizzing down right between their, their face and they're just eating it.
Got one. I do. I saw it moving. I just didn't know if I had it. Picnic got him a bass, guys. Good stuff, dude. One thirty, guys. Something I can flip him. One twenty one. I think this is a seven. <sighs> Please tell me you got that on camera. I did. <laughs> well, my rod. How did it feel? Oh. How did it feel when he hit it? No, I went off faith on that one. I thought I had a log. 605. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Heavier than 605, dog. Oh, I know he looks bigger than my fish. So this is definitely calling the 130. So I'm pretty sure we have like a. He's tagged. Look at that, guys. He's tagged. I've caught this fish before, bro. Why does he have a dent in his head? I don't know, but I've caught this fish before like four years ago. Really? Yes. Uh, so, and he has blood splots on his tail. Mm -hmm. All right, let him go. He's tagged? Yeah. Oh, thank you, buddy. I thought you were a log. <laughs> so, Picnic, what'd you catch him on, dog? So I got a new reel, guys. Uh, it's pretty good. It's beauty. Felt like I hit a log. Whose rod is that? It's Chris's reel. Log. Yeah, I mean, the picnics. It's picnics. It's Chris's reel and uh, pole. But I don't. I don't. I can't describe how I caught him. I just. I felt him. I just felt it. I. I can't tell you how or why. I just. I thought it was a stick, and I just went on faith. And I just. 
started moving. So hell yeah. All right guys, it is nine o'clock at night and uh, old Picnic back here stuck him a, a 605. So with that being said, I actually handed him my rod, my Fitzgerald seven foot six all purpose heavy with my Luz LFS speed spool, six five to one with my better beaver, my football, and uh, the tips were dyed from Venom Lures. Uh, if you're new here, hit that like and subscribe button. And this camera is really grainy, but uh, I'm sure we had at least a 17 or 18 pound bag. That would have been nice to have today. But uh, if you're new here, like I said, hit that like and subscribe button. We about to load up. What you got to say, Doug? Good day. That's it? Good day for a good fish. Good day? Great day. This man catches a six pounder. Well, that's a good day. Whatever. Whatever, man. Um, what? So, we will catch you later, and uh, I gotta get this thing edited, so see y'all later.